This is a heck of a large excavation. We pulled out about 120 yards of soil for the dig on this wetland filter. This is a very large filter, but it had to be for a pond this size. And this is actually the second of the wetland filters. This is a smaller one right here that just looks like part of the stream, 15 by 15. This is the big guy. We simply didn't have enough room up here to make one gigantic filter, so we had to split them up. And this one, like, just, just fit. Right over there, that white pipe in the ground, that is the water line that feeds the house. We could not go any further and we got lucked out where we were just able to get the excavation we needed. Now we've got it laid out with our snorkels and centipede modules. We have to cut a trench right along this orange line all the way to the other side for our snorkel to sink in along with our centipedes, which are right here. What's gonna happen is once those go in, we're gonna feed plumbing from the pumps down at the pond into the end of this centipede. It'll travel through here and come up through all these slots. There's gonna be multiple sections of this on each side. Then it's gonna go up into that layer of aqua blocks. That's gonna slow the velocity down, give solids a chance to settle out. These are gonna be where clean out ports are. So when the filter gets washed down through all the layers of gravel, it goes down through the aqua blocks and then down into these centipedes over to where our snorkel module is, where we can have a clean out pump ejecting all that dirty stuff. This is a fantastic filter and we've got two of them. We don't get to do residential builds this big all the time, but when we do, we build massive filters. <laughs> so that is roughly what, a 19 by 28 foot excavated hole. I think you told me 115 yards of soil coming out of there. You can see it's so big, there's a mini excavator still down in the bottom of the hole, um, which later that bigger machine's got to pull out of there. So that'll be fun because I've never seen that before. But yeah, it's a massive filter, but if you turn around, it's a pretty massive pond and we want to keep that thing crystal 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 clear. That was pretty cool, huh? That was scary. Being down in there, just picturing that machine breaking, like, there's nothing for me to do. I would have just gotten squashed. I was far enough <laughs> away. I was totally safe. <laughs> so now that that's done, we can just do some fine tuning and get this thing ready for our liner. Next thing we're gonna do is actually get our sand in. So we're gonna put about an inch or so layer of sand on top of everything. Down in the troughs where the centipedes go, up on all these flat areas where the aqua blocks are gonna go as well. We'll get everything on grade perfectly. Then we're gonna install multiple layers of fabric followed by our liner and then fabric on top of that before we assemble our constructive wetland filter. We worked into the dark last night getting this liner installed. We will be installing a layer of aqua blocks on top of that. So what that's gonna do is basically create a sediment chamber. It's gonna allow solids to settle out inside that lower section to be removed through the snorkel vault once we do a clean out. So we can put a clean out pump inside the snorkel vault, wash everything down and eject any of that dirty water. On top of the aqua blocks, we've got layers of rock and gravel. We'll start off with like a four to six inch cobble, followed by the two to three inch, and then finally a layer of three quarter to one inch river gravel. It'll flow up through all that filtration and then out this series of waterfalls. If you want to see a constructive wetland filter that's finished, this is what it looks like basically just part of the stream. Over here, you can see that snorkel vault cap sticking out. When maintenance time comes, that cap can come off, a pump can go inside there, and this whole filter can be rinsed down. The same thing is gonna happen with the big guy up top. Along with building the filter, we've gotta do a seam between our wetland liner and the waterfall liner that's coming up in here. Brian's gonna get to, get to work on that this morning, so this can all be finished. Then we can do all of our big rock work to actually complete this project. This has been such an incredible project for me to be a part of, along with Brian Helfrich from Team Aquascape, working together with Matt, the homeowner, to build this massive, unbelievable fire pond, recreation pond here in the mountains of California. We're about to get started on day five.
well into the night last night getting this wetland filter to the point where it is now because this is our last day. We have no more time to finish this. We got all our layers of gravel in the wetland and we were able to set three large bowlers inside here. This one is gonna be so cool because it should be underwater right here. So this would be a cool little place for the kids to go and explore to, hang out, they can sit there. There'll be 12 inches of water inside the whole wetland. Then we got some monsters on the backside here which are gonna be holding back the hill. This one here, you can see is just above grade. So that's gonna work out perfect. We're actually gonna hook this back up this morning and we, we don't like the position so much. We wanna turn it so that that slope is coming down towards the inside here, giving it some shape, creating that little cove inside there and making it look like it belongs. Then we can go ahead, we're gonna focus this morning on getting the rest of the big rock work inside here. Matt's got his crew here who's gonna start hooking up the plumbing. So these two pipes go down to our centipedes, which feed the entire floor of a wetland filter. They'll get tied together and they're gonna be fed by the main line that comes up from the pond. There's also an auxiliary dump line, which is gonna be just for volume and a separate pump. So when he has events or he wants to get some major water flowing here, that other pump is just gonna dump inside the top of the wetland, not really affecting the filter, just providing extra water for these huge waterfalls. Once we get those rocks in the wetland filter, we can go ahead and close up this area of the waterfall, which is our last section. We gotta raise that liner up. Brian did the whole seam inside here yesterday. That's finished. Now it just comes down to buttoning everything up. This is it. We're gonna finish today. We have no choice. We got plumbing, we got lights, we got rocks, we got waterfalls. It's all happening here today. Let's get it done. on Saturday, our last day here, and that machine just broke down and it could be something major. We don't know. Mechanic's on his way up here. We're hoping he can get it going. We literally have probably seven or eight rocks left to set to, to finish all the big work and uh, that's the only thing that can do it. Bri. <laughs> Is it a glasses half full or half empty? How about moment, glasses, bro glasses broken, what, I think. What I look at is what that machine accomplished. From all the way down there to all the way up here. Like you kind of want to like put a big trophy on top of it and say, good job, old buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make it like four more hours though? <laughs> four more hours would have been really nice. And then you could have died, but. Uh, It moves some massive, massive rocks. Yeah. And how many tons do we think? 2,000 tons of stone? Uh, just a crap ton. Just a crap ton. Um, pretty impressive. And we were going hard today. Like, so it's a little bit of a buzzkill, because it might mean not turning some of this on. I don't know. So I'm kind of working up behind you, just doing all these edges and stuff. Working up into this area here. So we've got our weir stone sitting here. Water level is going to come all the way up to here. I got to make sure that all of this is back in through here so none of that water goes that way so I've got to come in here put some chips down foam all of this stuff in here seal this and then hopefully we can find like a little pancake sized rock where we can foam in the bottom of it directing all the water over here on this side a little bit more of the same you can see this little gap in here this has got to get sealed up or I could promote it to let it come through here come into a little pool and then come this way it would look super cool, but maybe a lot of effort for a little waterfall here that maybe nobody would see. So I don't know, we'll see how the day's going. If we can't get that machine running and I have free time, I'll work on this. <laughs> I'm sure Matt is really discouraged right now. You know, he's handling it pretty good. He like, is, I'm pretty discouraged because I want to see this function before we leave and you want to see this function before we leave. Good news is the rest of the waterfall is working and we can go through that as a consolation prize if we can't get this working. Uh, that means we have to come back to California. Oh! At some point. There's worse places to be, I guess. If that big machine is dead. Well, let's uh, let's do the best we can and pray for the best. Okay, what was it? Ah, <laughs> yeah! Uh. <laughs> Well, 
Well, that's a good sign. We've got a mechanic here. Hopefully, he can fix this thing. If not, Matt's determined. He says he's gonna just make it work somehow to get these rocks in. We want to finish today. I'm hoping that guy can perform some miracles. You're asking yourself right now, all right, where's the finish, Jack? I don't have it because we finished this late at night, the last day we were there, left first thing in the morning. The other problem is it's been eight months, eight, eight months since the pumps for this project have been on order. These are special order, big, big pumps. They're gonna push a lot of water. Still not in yet. No worries, I am going to be going back to California to see this epic project come to fruition and I'm taking you with me. Summer 2023, we're gonna go see how this all turned out with all those waterfalls cascading down that gigantic mountainside. It's going to be epic. Hit that subscribe button, come on back. Hit the notification bell, unless you wanna like refresh your computer every few minutes to see if the video's up yet, hit the notification. Love to have you guys back here watching us build these incredible water features and showing you how we do it. See you on the next one.